when when people come to my class, the first, first thing they think about is the money. Yeah. Okay, the hundred dollar half cut. The hundred dollar half cut. So what is a hundred dollar half cut? Well, the hundred dollar half cut, you, you think that it's about the technical about actually cutting hair, but it's about the mindset. So you say, what kind of mindset do you have to have for a hundred dollar half cut? Okay, everything that you do is in preparation for where you're going. So if you want to get to a hundred dollar level or grooming on a hundred dollar level, then it's not a haircut, it's about a session. It's about a more intimate thing. People are paying you for different reasons, so you want to find out what are people paying you for. Okay? So it's a mindset. Okay? So we want to we want to we want to make sure that we hone in on not the money. The money is the end results. It's just like winning a, a championship. The, the work that you put in, the championship is the end result. So what does it take for a mindset of saying that I want to be a barber that comes from five to ten dollars to twelve dollars to twenty-eight dollars to forty dollars to fifty dollars to a hundred dollars? What does it take to actually get to that level? So that's the main thing that I want to talk about today is what does it take to get to that level? So here it is. You have to be systematic in your thinking. Okay? because people are paying you for results. So you have to be systematic in your thinking. Say it, systematic, systematic in your what? <laughs> in your thinking, okay? That means if you're systematic in your thinking, then you're gonna be more apt to listen. They are paying you, you are the doctor, all right? So if you have a systematic approach to this, then they will pay you for results. Okay? But if you ain't never taken the time out to change your mindset to learn how to listen, then you can't be systematic in your approach. Okay? I am your doctor. You paid me for results. Alright? So what I want to do is, I got to put them on a, a regimen. You say, Spence, how do you get your clients on a regimen? What is it that you, how do you get your clients on a regimen? Because I stopped cutting hair a long time ago. I started looking for clients that's got a problem. Does that make sense? To talk about mindset. So what has happened is, instead of, as, as a service provider, guess what I specialize in? Problem solving. Solution. 